right, you have to help me sing from coach and then take questions after, so raise your hands, please. Uh, unbelievable crowd again. It's great point. Home in front of sellouts. You know, hopefully our fans keep coming out. Our student section was great. I thought everybody was great. So it's good. It's what makes college basketball the uh, environment we were able to play in. So I'd like to thank them, and hopefully we can get them to keep coming out. But uh, great offensive game, obviously. You know, we've been on these guys about the turnovers. We only had two turnovers at the half. So I thought, you know, it, it's a pretty compliant group that tries to do what you ask them to do. The only issue is defensively, we just aren't aren't quite there yet. I, I honestly didn't think it was there like it needed to be. Today, I thought the first uh, two four-minute battles uh, in the second half we were pretty good. I thought there was one that we were decent in the first half, kind of when we opened it off. But all in all, I mean, LSU's much better than they were last year. They, I think mean, Coach McMahon's done a great job. You know, they, they easily could have been 5-1 and one going into this game. But you know, we, we, we've got to get better on defense. You know, we switched the starting lineup up, trying to give us a little bit of a boost and see if we can pressure them and to just get some kind of. We were much better because we outscored them. You know, offensively we were a lot better than what we've been. We still didn't get the defense that we liked, but I did think that starting group was a lot better in the second half. Starting the second half was a lot better defensively. So, you know, we we, we were able to finally. I don't want to say we were dominating them, cause we, but we pulled away late and got a pretty convincing win, which we felt like we needed to get one of those here, uh, and we got it tonight. Start with Nick Kelly. Yeah, the, uh, two questions for you. The, the small line that you kind of started with the guards, I mean, what was the decision behind that? And also, we didn't see Nick Pringle until the second half. I mean, what was the decision there? Yeah, uh, we needed to make a change in the starting lineup. Our starts have been disastrous. They start the first half and start the second half, game after game after game. We kind of kept warning those guys. So we made a change. I thought uh, Charlie's been good in the lineup. I thought Ryland came off the bench but played great. So you know, I thought those four guards were kind of playing our best. Grant's been playing well. We just put the guys have been playing best in. And then, um, you know, I played the guys we felt like gave us the best chance to win the game at the appropriate times in the game. So it gave us some pretty good minutes in the second half, but I played the guys I thought would give us the best chance to win. It worked out pretty well tonight. Charlie. Yeah, it was just the sixth one in the game this season. That's a program record. Just, what does that say about your offense and capabilities? Yeah, we should have had eight. Shoot, I put the walk-ons in with 99 against Oregon and 98 against, was that Mercer? Yeah, I, like, we can score the ball at a high clip. Obviously, we play fast, efficient and fast. Now it adds up to 100-point games. You know, it says we've got really talented players that are unselfish and move the ball. You look at our assists, we had 23 assists. I mean, look at Strata was pushing the double again with 18.76. Sears had five assists. So put together really talented players, put them in a system that accentuates their, their strengths, play fast, be efficient, end up with 100-point games. And it would be nice if we had two more, but hopefully it's not our last one this year. Matt? Yeah, what, led, uh, what happened that led to that technical in the first half? With me? Yeah. And like the calls that preceded it, I thought, uh, Got one call on one end and then another call on the other end. And I thought Aaron got fouled in the terminal line and Coleman Grant was a little so off, but I could be wrong. I, I might, when I go back and look at the video, I mean, when the first time I'm on, I love some calls. So sometimes we need a little energy too. I thought the uh, crowd got a little energized after that. Sometimes it helps you going around to close the half and, you know. A little bit of run there, not, not enough, but enough. We ended up with six point eight and a half. Chase. It seemed like a lot of the open looks that LSU got from three came from the baseline corners. They hit one from the corner with about ten minutes left. It looked like it kind of set you off. Was that one of the issues defensively that you're talking about? Yeah, I mean we just we're not locked into what the game plan is enough. Like we, we had way too much help off shooters where we didn't need help. We, you know, we go through things. We just, we've got a really talented offensive group, and we're not going to be able to win the championship if guys 
that we start focusing and it's not important to them. And some of our main guys, that, that we, they, they've got to really start to focus on what it takes to win at a high level. You know, I mean, LSU's good. I mean, we, we gave them 11 threes. It, it, it's a good defensive team's not giving up. But they, they had 28 attempts, like we, we don't even want them to get that many off. So it was way too much help off the wrong spots from the wrong guys, not enough effort to get back out there. Too many blow bys off the dribble. We, we, we've, got to, we've got to get our defense short up. Now I'm going to keep preaching it and harping on it and finding, you know. But like I said, it's not like you go to the bench and, and you're sitting Herb Jones out there on the bench or, you know, some of our guys that have been, you know, Clowney's not over there on the bench. It's like some of these guys have been great defenders here are not on the bench. So, like, sometimes guys in the game just have to, like, how good of a team do we really want to be? We're going to try to outscore everybody. It, it worked. Tonight doesn't work every night. Like when you're cold and your offense ain't flowing. Are you, nah, I thought our effort against Auburn was pretty good. Like I didn't think we kept the same effort on the defense end tonight. So yeah, I, there's some plays that really set me off. Their effort plays and their lack of focus on the defense end plays get me a little perturbed when, when that happens. Like, uh, yeah, Coach. Uh, Grant Nelson kind of feels like he's settled into a role uh, over the last couple of games. How would you assess his play today and how he's uh, developed over the last couple of games? Like, he's been a lot better. We're playing him more minutes to five. I think he's a little more comfortable there. Defensively, he's got to get better on defense though for us. It was not one of his better defensive games on that end for sure. But, uh, like, you know, he, he's more aggressive. A little more physical, you know, he makes free throws at 100% again tonight. And I think he, you know, in 24 minutes, I think he probably get one five rebounds for us, so we're going to need him to step up a little bit, you know, better for us on uh, Wednesday at Georgia. But he's, like, he's an unbelievable kid, all about the team, very skilled. Sometimes we need him to be a little more aggressive. I thought he made some aggressive plays tonight, though. He kind of got down the post and that guy, so. Be a little bit more like that. Just continue to take open threes. I mean, if he's open from three, I'm going to go ahead and take it. You know, he's shooting less, which is probably a little better. It means he's attacking down a little bit more. Tony, you're going to end the night, or you, you do end the night with sole possession of first place in the conference. Is this starting to feel like a title winning team? I know you said there's this a lot to improve on defense, but is it starting to feel that way? We're going to be in the mix. Like, uh, yeah, we're a half game out of Tennessee, right? Looked like we'd get some help from Vanderbilt through the first half, and then it didn't quite happen that way. Um, you know, it's uh, us, you know, we've got a little help from Mississippi State, you know, with Auburn. I mean, it looks like Auburn, Kentucky, Tennessee, all sort of up at the top. I and mean, obviously, anybody can make a run. We're not that far into the season. But I, I, I do think this is a team that can win it. And we're going after it as hard as we can. But if we don't fix our defense and get the main guys in the rotation that are playing heavy minutes to be as concerned with the defense as the offense, it's going to be really hard to win. Just, you know, we do get Tennessee back at our place, but if we don't guard better, we're not going to be able to beat them. You know, we got to go to Auburn yet. If we don't guard better, we're not going to win a road game at Auburn. There, there's some some other really good games on this stuff. We got Kentucky yet. Like we've got, we got, we got to play at Kentucky. If you don't guard them, I mean, their their offense is very high powered. They're playing really well on the offensive end for the most part. So our our defense has to get better. If our defense get gets to where we need it to get, we'll, we'll win a championship. If not, it's going to be hard for us to do it. So. Hey, Coach, we saw David Cosby get a lot of minutes early in this game and made a real impact on the offensive and defensive end. What have you seen from him in practice recently that they are in those games? Yeah, I mean, that was part of what I was talking about earlier. We played the guys that gave us the best chance to win the game. I thought he's played hard in practice. His attitude's always been great. You know, he's never lost his confidence on offense. I always feel like if I put him in, he's going to make shots and you know, play well. He's got he, he can to the bench and there's no real defensive stoppers. I think he's been trying to be better on defense. You know, for the first time all year this week, he won the blue collar points in practice. We chart all that in practice every every day. So he won it in practice once this week. You know, I, I told him just do what Mo Diabate did. Mo, Mo Diabate was not in the rotation. 
week after week after week. He's one of the hardest playing guys in practice every single day. And we needed some toughness with the team. And, and Mo's earned himself winning some rotation now. So that's what I challenged Davin to do. I thought he did it for a day this week. You know, we went two pretty hard days in practice. And he's pretty good on them. So I thought I'd reward him with some minutes. And I thought he did well with him. Right. Coach, taking down the number eight team on Wednesday and then a convincing win tonight, you think that you're going to get into that top 25? What's your kind of pitch on that? It's yeah, I don't. Go ahead, sorry, finish. No, that's pretty good. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Like, we, we honestly, I just assume not be right. Uh, you know, I think sometimes our guys play a little bit better with a chip on their shoulder. You know, uh, I, I've told them, like, the analytics have had us top 10 all year. we, we got to figure out how to win games. Our resume needs to look better. We need quad one wins. You know, on the road at Georgia, it's probably going to be a quad one game. You know, this, I don't think this one was here. You know, they're not for a home game. But we need to go get some quad one wins and get our seating up for the tournament. Rankings in January and February by poll voters that are not on the selection committee uh, mean nothing. So. Don't put us in. Let's stay with the chip on our shoulders so we keep playing harder. Two more. Coach, we saw Mark go 0 for 5 from 3 to not, but finished 11 11 from the line and finished with a game high 21. What does that say about the several ways that he can contribute offensively? Yeah, he's a super talented offensive player. He's tough, he's physical, he drives it downhill. You know, even when he's not shooting, I guess if he, he might be shooting in there right now. He's He doesn't take it well when he doesn't shoot it well, but. He, he can finish at the rim, he can get to the free throw line, I mean, shoot 11 free throws, he's a physical driver, he puts them in that way. He, he knows how to find a way to score some points on, on the offensive end. He's, he's super talented for us. Last one, Joe. Yeah, <clears throat> on that same note, you already kind of talked about Aaron Estrada a little bit, but he started the game one of six from the floor, but finished with, uh, what, 18, 19 points. After not having a great game in a rival game against Auburn, just talk about his, uh, what he brings to the table and his ability to bounce back tonight. Yeah, look, I love Aaron. He's tough. He's gritty. He's a competitor. You know, I, I, I just trying to encourage him. Like, you know, he's got to get his confidence back. I mean, I mean, you saw what he did the first half of the first game of the year. I mean, he was he looked like he's going to be pushing triple doubles and he's going 20, 30 every night. But, but you know. Steph Curry's the best shooter, maybe in the history of basketball, he goes through slumps. I think Aaron was going through a little bit of a slump, needed some confidence boost, so he got every shot he missed. So he just kept cheering him on. I thought he was playing super hard. I mean, he ends up leading us in rebounding night. He had six. I mean, he led us in assists with seven. And she was three points away from, you know, Sears at 21, and Aaron had 18. So I thought Aaron played great. That's how we needed him to play. He led the team in. Plus minus with plus 28, you know, in the 30, 31 minutes he was in the game. He won the hard head, had the most collar points by, by a long shot. So I, I thought he was great. And you know what? He's liable to go five for six in his first six shots the next game. And, you know, offense comes and goes a little bit. That's why we got to develop a defensive mindset around here. And I thought I thought he had a pretty good one tonight. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thanks. It gives us a good weekend.